Hi, it's Zempi here. Um, just like to talk a little bit about um, celiac disease, which I have been diagnosed with um, over 10 years ago. And um, sorry, my brain gets a bit fuzzy. I have bipolar disorder and I did read that there is a correlation with that. Um, seems to be, I think it was with people that see that disease, quite a lot of them also have bipolar or something like that. Um, celiac disease is like an autoimmune condition. Um, for some people it has no symptoms, but for others it has a lot of symptoms. And it can take over a decade, typically, for people to actually get diagnosed. So, um, my symptoms started um, when I was also, when I had a breakdown when I was at uni. Um, but just leading up to that, in my late teens, I was starting to get a sore tummy. Um, I also, you could also put that to anxiety, um, but anyway, I was having unexplained tummy pains, quite a lot of diarrhea, and um, just ended up with all sorts of weird and wacky health problems, like um, one of them was that I would get sinus infections all the time and sent to a specialist and they scanned my head and said oh your sinus membranes are inflamed but you've got enough space for it to drain so this surgery is going to do nothing about it so I thought oh phew at least I don't have surgery um, I don't know if this is related but the dangling thing at the back of my throat swelled up as big as my thumb and the doctors wanted to remove that so fortunately it calmed down so I didn't have the surgery for that um, I had a pain disorder for years which they called um, fibromyalgia um, ruled out arthritis didn't have a rheumatoid factor But I had raised blood inflammation markers and they said to me that that contradicts the diagnosis of fibromyalgia because fibromyalgia is supposed to be the last catch-all if they don't know what it is after they've ruled out other things. So anyway, um, I felt to me like the pain, like to brush my teeth hurt more than get a tattoo and my joints ache, my muscles hurt. It felt like the aching went right through into my bones. And I went and got a massage and she said, your arms feel so tight, they feel like bricks. And it's because I was doing a lab technician job at the time, using my hands a lot. And she said, I've never come across someone with such, I can actually feel it now, the tension in there. Uh, it's not as bad as it used to be. Um, what else did I have? Oh, I had a lump pop up on my neck all of a sudden. It's hard to swallow. This big bulge. Went to the doctor and then they said, oh, it's a thyroid. Oh, and at the time, I was also, um, my blood pressure was dropping more than 10 units from sitting to standing. I mean, I would feel like I'm going to flag out, walking up like 10 steps, I feel like I'm going to collapse. Exercise intolerance, so I joined the gym, but I'd be on the bicycle for about two minutes and feel like I'm going to faint and fall off, you know. <laughs> um, so... Had a biopsy. You know, they said it was cysts, thyroid cysts. 
two of them, two big ones. Um, just keep feeling I was going to faint a lot. Tested me for Addison, still said I produce hormones, so they couldn't understand why my blood pressure kept dropping. Have thyroid antibodies, um, so um, I asked um, to be tested for celiac and the doctor did the wrong test, which was just a gluten sensitivity and I was just under the threshold for normal. So he said, no, nah, you're fine. So I thought, cool, because um, I really like gluten, but I'll do a trial anyway. Anyway, I was really astonished that the brain fog I'd had for years and years, um, which was this also be my public polar in the mix as well. But I was like, oh my goodness, I can think clearly. And my pain is gone, and my bones, my bones are not aching. And because I was, people would always comment on how I bruised easily and I always covered in these really dark bruises if I bumped my leg or my arm on something. And, um, I had someone think that I'd been beaten up because I had such these dark bruises on my arms. Had lots of pregnancy problems, swelled up with heaps of fluid, like, um, really huge. And then it was like a tidal wave giving birth. It's kind of amusing. What else did I have? Um, it was a really long list of things. So anyway, I, I had an appointment with a dietitian. She looked at the list and she says, you're celiac. I said, no, I'm not. The doctor said I'm not. Which test did your doctor do? And it, he hadn't done the, the proper celiac panel. She says, you'll have to go back on gluten for six weeks and give the test done, and then um, if the test is positive then you have to have a biopsy. And it's like I've been sick for so many years, like over 10 years, in pain. Um, all that time. Now I'm feeling relief from it. I'm feeling a lot better, you know, because it felt like if I ate something like pizza, it felt like I had food poisoning, you know, just like that, that kind of thing just get really sick and I really love bread see so I ate it every day and um, it's quite hard to adjust and I noticed that if I accidentally ate even a small amount of gluten I'd get really sick again or I feel like it, the pain like I've, the worst than having the flu and it felt like the food poisoning and it felt just it just sucked and my anxiety would go really high into even like panic attack and um, I thought I don't care if I'm celiac or not I just don't feel well when I eat it and you no know, she said no it's a difficult diet to be strictly gluten free so if you refuse to go back on the gluten we will do a gene test now, not everyone with the celiac gene actually has celiac. Um, so, she said, if you have the gene, stay off it strictly for life. If you don't, find a threshold. Because I was also becoming hypersensitive to other foods. Like when I ate anything with histamines in it, like tomatoes or cocoa or anything like that, I would just slightly go like that. Very light scratch and my skin would welt up um, red. And I had like a, I still get it mildly sometimes but I have what the doctors call perioral dermatitis so I had this rash around my nose and mouth area which was worse when I had histamines um, so yeah just heaps of things and she said the thyroid your thyroid is the tech your thyroid with the, with the auto antibody oh was it called Anti the antibodies it's in a Celiac is making your body attack its own organs, like your thyroid. It's one of the first things to go, kind of thing. So, and also, when I stopped eating the gluten, I stopped having the massive blood pressure changes. Um, my blood pressure was a bit more stable, and I wasn't, I didn't feel like I was going to faint to 
walk up um, a few steps um, or collapse if I took the dog for a walk or um, the thyroid just went away and so did the antibodies so all the, and, and my skin was more normal like I could scratch myself now and it just leaves a normal scratch mark but it's not hardly noticeable um, so I had the gene I had the celiac gene so then I had to get my son tested he doesn't have the gene so um, I guess he had some food intolerance issues as well um, I had another test done that showed that I was sensitive to dairy I came up strong positive for dairy I was a uh, um, oh, I can't remember it, I think it's an IgG, something like that. It means you're not anaphylactic, but you're still sensitive kind of thing. Um, so what I did is I was very, very sensitive to dairy for a, a while, and also to other foods, but then gradually um, I developed a tolerance for those other foods, which made my life a little bit more bearable as far as diet goes. And also in that time there's been a lot more options, like this uh, nice gluten-free pizza bases, and the the bread has improved and the pasta has improved um, and some people when I've got them gluten free pasta they actually say it's nicer than the regular stuff um, so um, the last time I can remember getting gluten was actually was in, in hospital after his hysterectomy I had um, two bags of blood transfusion because I'd lost so much blood beforehand and the hospital insisted that they knew what they were doing and they bought a pack they bought a packet of rye bread. I said rye is gluten. Um, rye, barley, um, I don't eat oats, it's controversial about oats, it's wheat. Um, so and then malt will come into the barley. So I was a bit suspicious about do they really know what they're doing, I'm sure. And they said, no, 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 we'll serve you something. I was like, okay. So they served up some pasta, tricolored pasta. I've never ever in my life seen gluten-free tricolor pasta. But it's suspicious. Gludgy. It just doesn't taste right. And I feel sick almost immediately. And so, um, and then the tummy cramps. So um, I just started having these major cramps. And then I was... Um, I, was, I was sent home and then I was um, started vomiting by the stage and I felt like all this aches and pains in my joints and everything so and then when I lay down I couldn't breathe and I could hear a crackling noise like rice bubbles popping sent back to the hospital did a scan and they said your lungs the bottom half of your lungs have collapsed because there's fluid so, yeah, um, whereas another person, I've read about other people uh, with celiac, um, they could eat a gluten-free pizza, oh sorry, a gluten, if, if someone mixed up their pizza, um, I don't order from gluten place, gluten-y places like pizza places because uh, the risk of cross-contamination is too high, but they wouldn't know the difference, they would get no symptoms, um, so I um, was told that I'm celiac without the biopsy. Uh, I've also seen a doctor say, that deals with it a lot, say it's not actually much of a gold standard anyway because a lot of people get false negatives on both the blood test and the biopsy. And then they finally get a positive when they're like half dead. So, uh, so this doctor um, acknowledges that people can have gluten sensitivity whether it's technically celiac or not. I call myself celiac um, because I am so sensitive and because I've been told that I um, I am um, because of the reversal of so many symptoms and then the return of them again. Um, so yeah mainly the thyroid problem. So my thyroid now tests um, normal and um, I tend to get, um, I do sometimes get blood pressure 
changes dramatically when I'm under a lot of stress um, to do with my PTSD, um, bipolar, when my mood switches to depression, I can get uh, aching in my muscles and seizing up my hips temporarily, but it's nothing like nothing like the pain I used to get. So, um, yeah, it's a pain in the bum, the diet. Ooh. 